Welcome to Hands on Math. What is your name? My name is Abona and Barry. What is perimeter? Man, I don't know. Uh, do you want to learn perimeter? Uh, not really. Oh, no, no. You cannot get more than one. Yeah. Sorry. Just one. Yeah. Do you want to learn perimeter now? I'll give you more candies if you do. I really do. I want you to understand the definition of perimeter through completion of hands on activity. Mm. You have to do four steps. So listen very carefully. So I'm going to give you some time to finish the candy. You finish your candy? Yeah. Good. It's Step awesome. number one. You're gonna take A4 paper. This is called length and this is called width. Oh. You're gonna use the black and green, black for the length and green for the width. You're gonna level it. Step number two, you take the ruler to measure the length and width. Step number three, you're going to find the perimeter using the arithmetic. Oh. By adding this plus this plus this plus this. So that's and, what it is. And step number four, you're going to do it by algebra. Then it just, you have to add the length of the four sides. That's it. That's, you are a smart guy. Good luck. So if I start right from the edge of the paper, that's actually a line of about 28 centimeters long. Nice. Uh, hold on. You have oh, to yes. use that. Very nice. And I know that if this is 28 centimeters long, by symmetry, this one also has to be 28 centimeters long. Very good. Let's align the zero point with the beginning of the paper nodes just with the beginning of the line itself that's going to give me exactly it says 21 the ruler okay the ruler says 21 and i know by symmetry that if this is 21 this also is 21. oh wow wow very so nice now you wanted me to do it by algebra and by um, arithmetic, right? Right. It's going to be, hmm, so you told me the sum of the length of all four sides. It's going to be 21 plus 28 plus 21 28. So now I want to add the black ones first. So 28 plus 28 is going to be 16. 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5. 56. 
and then 21 plus 21, that's obviously just going to be 42. Just giving us 98. Barely out of reach of 100. 98 what? Oh, uh, yes, centimeters. And what is it, perimeter? Uh, yes, the perimeter. Very nice. Very nice. So now, algebra. I remember I called this one L plus uh, W. Let's say this one. Wow. Plus L. I'm going to mention this one this time, obviously. Wow. And then W. So now, if mm. I add the like terms, I learned that. So if I add the like terms, I get 2L plus 2W. So now, I think I can factor 2 out of that. Because there is 2 at the coefficient of both of these variables. So 2 times L plus W. Now, can you please tell me what is perimeter? Well, perimeter should be the sum of the length of all the sides of a regular polygon, if I'm talking about general here. That's correct. The student had no understanding of perimeter in the beginning. Uh, but a student now successfully told me the definition of perimeter, although I never told him the definition of perimeter. He learned it not by memorization but through a hands-on activity now i'm going to test his understanding by give him a challenging problem is it too difficult for you mm -hmm. i think i can handle it so three so if i call this w then l is going to be 3.1 times as long as it is wide so l is 3.1 w oh and so so I know that perimeter is 2 times L plus W for my discovery earlier. So that means that perimeter is 2 times 3.1 W plus W, meaning that uh, P is equal to 2 times 4.1 W. That means P is equal to 8.2 W. And if I know that P is 93.48 equals to 8.2. Uh, yep, 11.4.